time we're here with reading Hellbent. Hello fellow booktors, this is Gabby and today is the start of a new vlog. I am gonna be reading Hellbent by Ree Bardugo. So if you don't know, Hellbent is the sequel to Ninth House. Um, Ninth House tells the story of Alex Stern who can see ghosts, gets drafted into Yale and then gets sucked into the world of secret societies and magic in Yale. So I was surprised how much I loved Ninth House. It just really spoke to me. I thought it was a great old time. So I've been waiting with a held breath for Hellbent. And you know, I almost passed out because this book took its sweet ass time. Uh, but it's here and we're gonna read it. And this is gonna be a spoiler filled vlog. Uh, we're gonna just jump right into the spoilers. So if you haven't read Ninth House or Hellbent, peace out right now, but we're gonna have so much fun and I cannot wait. And um, wish me luck, because I want to love this book so bad. Oh, said Dawes, Daz, her eyes darting around the room as if afraid to let her gaze land anywhere, but finally settling in the far corner the place most distant from the site of Darlington's cock, which was very erect and shiny, like a supercharged, oversized glow stick. Darlington, you know you're naked, right? Like some perverse statue, hands resting on knees, horse alight, cock erect and glowing. What happened to hello? What happened to how are you? What happened to that? It's been a crazy couple days. I've not had time to just sit down and catch up, but I made it to page 100. They figured out where hell gates are and I think it's time to talk about it. So, hellbent. I am 100 pages in. What happened so far? Alex living her life. The semester is starting. She's in some shady dealings with people from her past and has to be kind of a handyman, whatever, going and threatening people for money. Her and Dawes, Daz, Dawes, I don't know, did a ritual. The ritual worked slightly wrong, but kind of right. They got Darlington back. Darlington's back. He has horns. He's naked. And his cock glows. These are the things being, three things I know. You with me? Now, he finally spoke. He's like half demon or whatever. And he was like, huh, find this gauntlet, which is basically the gates to hell, and they just figure out where gates to hell are. I, I know I said 100 pages, but I feel like I just started this book. What are we doing? What is happening? There's not a dull moment. So I'm here for the journey. I'm going to keep reading, and we can catch up when I look a bit better. But um, that was why. And I also am tabbing every instance of the glowing cock. Um, so far there's two, uh, we're 100 pages in. I will update you when there's new developments in this situation. So Alex just told Mercy, one of her friends, about all the secret society stuff. And I'm really happy because I feel like they're bonding. I really like the, how many friends Alex has, I guess. Um, and I want them to be a bigger part of it. So I'm happy and it's good to see them talking through. I'm sure it's gonna come back to bite us, but it's nice. The scene where they're like walking around and trying to find the gauntlet and the ritual and all that, and like trying to solve all these mysteries and Latin and hieroglyphics, it reminded me so much of Da Vinci Code and like uh, Agent A Angels and Demons by Dan brown and i love it i love solving mysteries like that and just being like ooh, all these super crazy and posh things you know nothing about but are still fascinated by love it okay i am oops that was wrong, wrong way around i am 181 pages in so this was how much i've read What's happened so far? Not that much, I guess. I know I was saying they're going, 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 but I legit thought they were like, we figured out the gauntlet. We're gonna like, go do that now. But they didn't. They didn't do that. No. They um still need to find four murderers or 
well, I guess two extra murderers and do this whole shebang. Now Mercy offered to help. I mean, it's interesting. Um, I'm still having a good time. Not that much happened. I felt like I needed to talk to you to be like, I'm still reading it. Because I hate it when I film a vlog and I only check in like once or twice and then I'm like, okay, well, I'm sure this was a great video for you. But now instead, I'm telling you how I have nothing to say and I hope this is a great video for you. It's like literally two seconds later, but I had a thought. I'm reading um, chapter 20 and <laughs> why does it give me so much comfort and take away from my anxiety that Alex is finally not just failing all her classes like she did in the book one and is actually at least passing still not doing that great but at least passing and i find it so funny because i'm always like quite bothered um if a character is struggling in school but like not bothered like like i get anxious like i keep thinking about it same if they are like dirty and gross you know, if there's like a scene and they were like, oh, I'm going through a forest. I have like dirt under my nails and I'm like smelly and sweaty and gross. And then they have like some kind of like intimate scene or their love interest sees them or something. I'm like, girl, you're dirty. You gross and smelly. Go, go get changed. What are you doing? Go have a shower. I'm so uncomfortable. Same thing with um, grades. And I'm just like, is that my need for academic validation? Like, what's happening here? But if a character is, like, not doing well in school and about to fail, I I am so uncomfortable. I just want them to be smart and do well because um, getting good grades is important. What, what childhood trauma was that about? I don't know. Glad I could share it, though. Are there vampires, though? What? What? We just met a vampire? Okay, Alex also surprised that vampires are real, so at least I'm not being the crazy one. Because I didn't realize there was like creatures about ghosts. What? Well, ghosts and obviously like demons and stuff. Um, But yeah. We're going to hell, kids. Okay, I think I officially made it halfway through. How nice is this look? Four eight one. Then yeah, pretty much halfway through, and we're going to hell, bitches. And uh, I'm excited. Figure I should make dinner, but at the same time, I want to keep reading. I did put that timer, so I'll read, I guess, till I don't want any more. But uh, I'm glad we made it not at the very end of the book. So now I'm curious, and I want this to be proper. I want this descent into hell to be like Dante's Inferno. I want it thick with stuff you know interesting jesus trip you all right hun you all right so i really like that we're going changing perspectives and we're going through everyone's time when they first arrive in hell so we've seen pam's perspective and trip's perspective and it's like the moment they became a murderer so we're relieving the woman that pam killed Blake in book one, hitting him over the head with a stone stone thing. And then we went to trip and we're reliving the time. He basically let his cousin die. So they were on a boat. The cousin fell overboard and he didn't call for help. So that was him like becoming a killer. And then I guess now we're gonna go see what Turner's up to. And I guess then Alex, I think that's my first time. I guess we kind of saw her first time killing. Because we, we know, but still, I'm, I'm curious. I like this, really good. So far, very Dante. Don't tell me we found Darlington just to lose him and go looking again. Okay, I made it to page 356 and we have demons coming in and messing people about. Everyone's looking at their decomposing and struggling a little bit with life in general. And I think this Anselm guy is actually evil, not missing. So Anselm is, was like a creator, pre, not creator, 
Pret, 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 creator, I don't know, for a second. Uh, but then go replace with that misogynist guy. And um, I don't know, I've been getting weird vibes from him when they went to that uh, coffee shop and it was pretty much hitting on Alex. And I'm like, can you stop? And uh, I got good, weird, weird vibes. So he didn't really tell anyone at Lefe that they fucked up, that they went to hell. So they're not officially kicked out and I had a feeling and they think that he might have gotten hurt and is missing but somehow I feel like he might be the murderer for some reason um I'm really enjoying it this book is really interesting I am kind of sad because I was hoping for more Darlington um but he's again kind of just mentioned in the book although he's like popping up a little bit slightly over 100 pages left 130 pages left I'm hoping I can finish this today, which would be pretty good. I have so many books from the library that I ordered thinking I have nothing else to read. And then they took a while to come and now I have lots of things to read and I have to read the library books, but they're also good. It's all about confusing. I'm going to try my hardest to finish this today. We are moving in like two months. So my boyfriend is over prepared and he wants us to start moving our stuff already up to his parents' house to store it, which is, I know we'll be happy we've done it but I hate moving and having to do it several times. It's giving me anxiety, so that's fun. Waiting for the car to come, I might as well do some reading. Okay, up here so far I was wrong and Darlington is behind the murders. Oh, well, technically it was the guy's son. It was someone else, but Darlington like convinced him the rum. That sounds really funny. I don't know why would you see a man with horns and be like a rum. I'd be like, the fucking devil, bruv, the devil. Well, I don't know, but we made it to part two, the below. Um, I can't believe it's just part two. And we're like, what? <laughs> no. We're 120 pages from the end. Do I want to read now? Do I want to read later? I think I'm going to read till 100 pages and then I'm going to try to be in a good space where I can just focus and read this. Bruh, he killed his parents, what? And I think we finally caught up with the beginning of the book because we open with Alex finding two dead bodies in the basement and those dead bodies are Darlington's parents. So we finally made a full circle. Yay. <laughs> I thought this shot was just for aesthetics, but apparently it's more um, information filled. So I moved you a little so you can actually hear me. Ooh, she's going to hell by herself or her mom. The box just broke. How much do you want to bet that she's going to be the new box? I don't even, I'm, I'm winning that bet. I think. A rabbit was standing over her six feet tall and dressed in a suit and some suit. I love how weird and quirky this book is. <gasps> it's got enter her. I just know. That sounded weird. I didn't mean it weird. He's gonna end. Oh my. <laughs> Just having all these butterflies because Darling did so into Alex. And also, we got another beautiful mention of glowing penis. His erection wasn't glowing like a New England lighthouse anymore. We're all glad for that. But uh, he's like, <laughs> I have a boner. Good thing she's not here. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
Marks me my balance nervous forever. Who have to go go guard or go garlic? He left them the same deep and cold the thing at the bottom of the lake. Bound to you, there, the woman who brought me out of hell. I will serve you till the end of days. <laughs> also, I got makeup from the book. That's about it. I'm loving these um, perspectives. That is terrible. Creator just came in and Darlington came and obviously they, they, they didn't tell him so it's like Alex. <laughs> Alex sounded all her will and burst into tears. Darlington, she cried, she's back, she burst. <laughs> yes, I'm back. I thought you were dead. I just can't see this so well. I don't know why, but in my head, I feel like I know that's not what she looks like at all. But I feel like Alex is Maeve from Sex Education. The vibes, I don't know. Not entirely, just like right now, that's just what popped into my head. Alex just made plans for the future of her mom. I feel like the person not coming back from hell is gonna be her! <sighs> Spiders. The old pearl <clears throat> old pearl pilgrim pilgrims made a deal. What does that mean? Who the oh Daisy Whitlock is the lady from book one. Thank god I watched that video recap because I would be so lost. I mean I'm still lost, but still Alex and Darrington's perfect future be woohoo. Wait, what? Dude and you, Alex, we're getting eaten? Locked in hell. Oh my god! Okay, so we were in hell. And we all thought, oh no, Alex will stay. I didn't think so. Oh, maybe. I mean, I felt like, mm, I don't know. I just know the vibe I'm feeling. I know I said that before, but it seemed too easy and obvious. And then, turns out, Alex did a switcherouski, invited Aiton, the drag dealer that was blackmailing her the whole book, and dragged him to hell instead. And everyone keeps talking about how she's a wheel walker. I don't really know what that means. I guess she can move between realms or, or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll find out. I'm on page 456. So there's like 30 pages left. Even less, less than that. Yeah, no. Yeah, about 22. Um, Michelle was... What's his face? Writer's familiar and she just got murdered. What? Can't trust anyone. Not that I trust her, Hama. <gasps> that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know what it is about book protagonists, and I guess any kind of protagonist. Why are they always so. Like, why do you always like, oh, it's all my fault. It's always my fault. I did all these things. They're my fault. I okay, know we all think it, but Jesus Christ. They're martyrs, that's what I was going to say. They're all martyrs. Ugh, I don't know what it is with me. I hate people. I love people. I hate book protagonists that just like feel so guilty. I There's something about it. Like, 
crime and punishment, these violent delights, um, any kind of like sacred history, any kind of dark um, academia when they kill someone and they feel super bad about it. Couldn't be me. I mean, I couldn't kill someone, of course, not feel bad about it. But I'm just me, like, did it, live a bit, Jesus Christ. Well, okay, I can't believe it, but I have finished Hellbent last night. And as you saw, it was a wild experience. I feel like I read this book quite quickly, considering how much was going on. And I just loved it so much i had a great time i think you know the beginning was kind of slow but at the same time i liked how we were like discovering new things and there's something happening once in a while but it wasn't this like bam 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 you can't breathe for one second kind of sequel which i just recently had a whole sequels vlog where i read a bunch of sequels and my one problem with most of them was like i just feel like i can't even breathe there's no moments of quietness and contemplation com contemplation and reflectiveness and moments where you get to know the characters and the relationships with other characters that's my absolute favorite about any books i don't know maybe i just like slow stories uh, but this book you i feel like it was a bit slow but i enjoyed the whole time maybe not even slow it's just like there was constantly something to keep you going but they made us work for the final bit and i really liked the ending i liked that it wasn't one of those i'm just going to sacrifice myself like she really alex really went through it and worked out a solution i like that not everything's tied down i think they do such a good job of setting it all up and then some of it is resolved in this book some will be resolved in book three i don't know if that's the end of the trilogy i'm not sure i don't know if this is a trilogy i don't know if it's series Last night, I think first, when the first book came out, like, ages ago, I think there was, like, talk of five, seven books? Or am I, like, imagining things? I think it was supposed to be a long series. Uh, I don't know what the situation is right now. Goodreads, so far, doesn't even have, like, a page for the next book. No title, no nothing. I couldn't even add it to my um want to read. So I'm assuming there'll be at least another two years waiting for book tip three. But like, I'm just so glad I have these as like a collection because this is probably one of my all time favorite series. I love the vibes of it. I think I guess maybe it's kind of a dynamic academia, but it's like a different type that I really enjoy. And I just think this worked for me so well. And um, five stars, honestly, like I loved it. I had a great time with this vlog. I hope you enjoyed reading this book with me. Do I have any theories for book three? I think I'm just excited because Darlington's back and he's like Alex I am indebted I am in your servitude you are my queen um so where is that gonna go I don't know but if there is a romance and I'm 99.9% sure there will be I want spicy scenes because I feel like there was too much talk about his glow stick penis for us not to get some spicy scenes okay i'm willing to wait for it i love how slow burn this is i mean this book had maybe like what five percent darrington this one maybe 10 maybe and then a book next book what 50 percent darlington unless they give take him away from us i do love him i think it's amazing how much lee bardugo is able to do with the chemistry in this book uh between the two main characters well not even main character like darrington's not a main character he's barely in it but i just felt like the chemistry was there i really like reading from his perspective i know i sometimes complain when books start off with one perspective then switch and all of a sudden we have other but i think this was just done so masterfully because it made sense when we changed the perspectives and i think that was all i could ask for really um so okay i'm finished with these two i do have a quick fun theory for book three Ooh, this is my name so that lee bardugo could have signed it oh, i'm so happy that i have this one and it's actually signed to gabriella so that's pretty cool um but you see how this one is all gray this is the special water stones edition but i think it's just the dust jacket that was different so this one's all gray and then what's this what gray gray what and then look at this red what so i think book three will be have a red color the only thing that's kind of throwing this theory a little bit is the fact that there are special editions of hellbent 
with a red cover but I still want the next one to have a red cover so they all match smile nice and matchy matchy and I can you know feel special because I guessed it and how beautiful are these they're just so exquisite I love the whole snake thing I love the colors of it I love these whatever the hell these oh these are different oh this is just a compass I don't know what the fuck this is but it's really fun and what was the oh and this one had just this this oh okay are we just gonna keep adding animals so this was the I don't know why I'm telling you this but this is just fun I feel like what was gonna be the third one what animals do you oh okay we need to guess what animal thing it is okay so Bunny is Darlington obviously that was his spirit animal protector that was so cute by the way um Alex is snake that trip oh i didn't even talk about trip oh my god i love that he's a vampire now but he's also like like a demon but he stole so much of the personality and he had that bird protector so then now he's a vampire but with a personality and basically he's a trip he's trip but he's a demon but he's I don't know, it's so it's so convoluted and I love it and I am so excited for that one. Okay, books face everyone from book three. I want a Dawes either Dawes to be asexual or have a romance with Mercy. Because I feel like their their whole genius thing it will there will be unstoppable. I want Mercy not to be mad at Alex and they can still live together. What animal do I think? I don't remember what animals they were. So Turner was an oak. Whatever Dawes' thing was, I think that's what it's gonna be. Okay, I found it. And uh, Dawes' animal is a slow loris, which I had to Google because I had no clue what the hell that was. And uh, the, yeah, I don't think that's gonna be a thing anymore. I think it's gonna be an albatross, a uh, little birdie. I think, I guess we're going with Trip's thing. What was Mercy? Let me see. <gasps> Ooh, okay, Mercy's was horse. I still feel like it's gonna be albatross, some kind of bird. But we'll see if I'm right. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know, have you read Hellbent? What do you think about it? What's your predictions for um for the animal? I want to know what you think the color cover will be, what the animal will be, what do you think is going to happen? I am so excited for it. I'll probably see you in two years' time, the way it's going. Um, But I hope that the wait is worth it, just as it was with this book. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like the video, if you could comment, like, and subscribe, I really, really appreciate it. It really helps me out. But that's it from me, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!